Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management, we are going to look for the feature that is customer notifications okay and what exactly you can configure as a project administrator in customer notification so the first thing that if you are on the free plan you will see the message here that you have to upgrade to paid plan for editing any of the templates okay now i'll discuss about what exactly the templates are and how you can go ahead and edit it if you want to have the templates edited then you need to be on the paid plan okay so you can go ahead and upgrade the plan but as of now we are on the free plan so we'll just focus on what is available in the free plan okay so attachment security now what exactly this feature is all about in the notification so choose how customers access attachments in customer notification email okay so there are two options download attachments by logging into the portal or download attachments via secured link without logging in okay so you can choose either of the option depending on what security level you want to have for your attachment in the first option the customer definitely has to log in into the portal to download a particular attachment they won't be able to download the attachments via the notification email that it, that they'll be getting if i choose the second one they will get a link which is uniquely generated okay and anyone who has that link can download that app. all right so this option as you can clearly see that there is a message here okay information that avoid choosing this option if attachments contain personal confidential or sensitive information because you do not want to have unauthorized person access to the attachments via the notifications right so notification if you, notification is enabled people will be notified okay and in the notification email they'll be having a uniquely generated if there is an attachment they'll get a link to download attachment and anyone with that particular link can be uh, or will be able to download without logging in right so make sure that you choose the option that best suits for your project needs okay and your uh, complies with your organization policies now send a name okay now what exactly this option is about this displays users public information for a user generated message otherwise it displays the portal name okay and then the second one is always display the portal name in this for this uh, service portal right so pretty simple you can choose accordingly as per the need now this is the template section right so we can as as i have mentioned what exactly or if you want to edit the template when we say template it's the notification email templates right how the email will look like whether you want your company logo to to appear on the email that is being sent for example if i go here and this is the notification right so for example if i show you some email so this is the this is the email right so this is one of the notification that i got that uh, we we have got the request and we can go ahead and view request turn off the request if i want to update this particular template and i want to have the company logo and banner etc then i have to go ahead and upgrade okay so this is what this particular feature is all about so if i go to edit template you will see that i'll be able to edit how the template looks like so for example the subject issue key issue summary and how the style is how the html will look like reply about this line what is the message content everything you can customize accordingly here right so you'll see that this is how the notification looks at the moment okay and this is what we have just seen here all right and then if you want to update or upgrade or change this template okay so you can update the css the color and everything or the plain text everything is possible here but then for this you have to have the paid all right you can also when you upgrade the plan you can also have the logos banners etc okay so that's the template now let's go back coming to the notification now these are all the notifications that are enabled all right so you'll see that all of them are enabled whichever are toggled enabled are the enabled and pretty simple and straightforward when say for example the customer is invited okay for the account when customer is invited to your service project send them an email okay if it is enabled it will a email will get triggered if the request is created send them an email if you enable it it will send an email if it is disabled email won't be sent right then if the public comment is added whether you want to notify the the people or not right when the comment is added uh, this is visible to customer your service project sends all the customers involved on that particular request a notification whosoever will be involved in that in that particular request will be notified public comment edited on the edit do you want to notify all the people who are involved in that particular request when the issue is resolved request is resolved or reopened 
a participant is added organization is added okay when the approval is required or uh, a status is changed so any of these notification settings are pretty simple to enable and disable and then you can also go ahead and edit say for example i will say participant added i'll click on edit okay i can enable and disable and then i can also edit all right so now you will see that here in order to edit any of this in order to edit any of this i have to upgrade but then you can see what exactly uh, how the reply or how the template or response will look like for this particular request or this particular notification when a participant is added so you can go ahead and edit all the details that are required here or that, that you want to change here in case you need to right but by default whatever settings are default for the free account will be there okay if i have to go ahead and edit i have to go to the upgrade so this is briefly what is the customer notification option okay and uh, as as we clearly see saw that editing any of these templates or notification template won't be possible and on the free okay you can enable and disable any of these as per your organization's need all right so that's about the customer notification section now the next one is the widget and i'll explain uh, in detail about the widget what exactly it is and how you can use the widget in the next video so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for